today I'm going to talk about, uh, I just had a wrestling camp with some of my coaches. I'm going to post a vlog video soon, but I wanted to go over, in my opinion, like the three best underhook takedowns that you can use both in wrestling or jujitsu and even MMA if you'd like. Uh, but first we're going to just talk about how to get to our underhook. So the way uh, that my coach like to explain it uh, and the way that I like to explain it is I want to build off of wrist, right? So I'm coming off of this guy's wrist here and you can do it a couple ways. You can try to pull this guy, but you don't really have to, right? But I know my focus here is going to be a hard club and that's usually going to open some space in between his elbows and his arm for me to punch a hard underhook. Uh, the thing that we were really talking about is when I'm doing this club, I don't want to do this softly, right? It's like I'm here, I'm building off the wrist, club, then I'm punching this super hard, and then I'm going to go ahead and take my forehead into my opponent's neck here, okay? I'm here, I'm grabbing wrist, club hard, boom, punch, and now my forehead is directly in my partner's neck. From there, we have a, a, a ton of options. First. We're going to start with the high crotch. So once we've actually gotten into the underhook, we have a ton of options. But before I get to that, I just want to talk about head position. For like just the, the style that we're going for right now, I want to make sure that my head is really into my partner's neck and not up here just because uh, guys who have good head and arm throws are going to get you. Obviously, I personally also like to play it from here uh, like Hassan Yazdani, but uh, that's just a totally different style of underhook in general. Right now, I'm pulling down on the shoulder, forehead and side of the neck and I can have some type of grip here. The first thing we're gonna do is if my partner puts his foot back, just put that foot back, is we're gonna go for a high crouch, okay? So all I'm doing is pulling my partner in with this underhook, I'm changing my lead leg, and then I'm dropping my butt and flaring the underhook. At the same time, I'm almost gonna try to slap my own butt as I shoot into this, under, uh, into this high crouch. So again, he puts the leg back, I'm here, I pull, I shoot, and then I slap my own butt uh, once I'm in this high crotch. So things to note when I get to this high crotch is I don't want my shoulder to be all the way out here, right? When my shoulder is out, it gives this, my partner the ability to cut the corner. I want to keep my shoulder in, which then eventually is going to lead to me just cutting the corner and running to the double leg. So. Again, I'm starting here, head to head, so head to head. I can club hard, punch, forehead in. I can pull, switch, shoot, and run my double. My next option from this is just gonna be the knee pick, okay? So uh, we can chain wrestle a little bit here, but just to start, this knee pick can happen from uh, many positions, uh, but for now, how I personally like to set the knee pick up is faking the high C and then running uh, the knee pick to that side. So this guy knows I really like the high C. I pull, I step, but he runs his back. So here, there's this opportunity for me to put all the weight on this back foot. I'm gonna actually take my back foot across, attack the knee, and I'm gonna keep running until my partner's body hits the ground. Right, so first I'm gonna show you what not to do. I'm not gonna gum, so put, just keep that leg back. I'm not going to come here and just drop, right? I might finish on someone less skilled, but that's just not the goal. I want to shoot and run, 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 and keep going until this guy's body actually hits the mat. I'm here, I pull, I tap, he steps back, run, 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 run. And then I get into my knee pick. The last takedown from the underhook that I think you should have in combination with these is just a basic snap down. So again, this is about chain wrestling. It all, all this is gonna come off of that high crouch. So I'm going to put that leg back. I'm gonna pull, fake, and when he starts that leg back, his weight is forward. So all I'm doing is pulling down on the underhook, clubbing his head, and going behind, okay? I know for wrestling, obviously I wrestled in college, I wanna grab the ankle, but in my opinion for jujitsu, I think it just makes more sense to go ahead and just back step so I can get in the seat belt. You can argue about it, whatever. This is personally what I prefer. I'm here, I'm pulling, boom, fake, pulling down hard, snap, block the elbow, and go ahead and back step. Those are three options from the underhook takedown that I think, in combination with each other, uh, sets up a really good system for BJJ, MMA, or folk style slash freestyle wrestling.